what's up guys it's your girl die and i'm back again with another video and make sure you guys are subscribing and when you're done comment down below that you subscribe so that i can shout you out in my next video also i'll be doing a cash giveaway so make sure you're subscribing so that you won't miss that and you won't miss all my daily nail videos So today is another watch me work video. There's nothing in particular in this video that's, you know, pretty detailed or whatever. So I'm not going to really talk much throughout this video. I want you guys to just see what I do. Now, as usual, everything is sped up except the acrylic application. But if you want to have me slow some other things down or go more into depth on certain things let me know so right now all i'm doing is shaping the nails into a coffin shape and i'm just holding my foul like in a 45 degree angle which you guys really can't tell because of how i got it angled but i am holding my foul in a 45 degree angle to get that coffin shape and then i go in and blend the nail tip with the natural nail and i just kind of foul over the the free edge of the nail tip also so when i put the acrylic it uh stick to the nail faster than it would if i didn't As always once you're done doing all your fouling and stuff make sure you dust off the nail and go in with a no limp wipe and use your swipe if you don't have swipe go ahead and go over to young nails website and purchase that it's a lifesaver and now I'm going in with my protein bond I do two coats of that you don't have to do two coats but if you want to be on the safe side definitely do two Now, before I go in and do the ombre, I'm going to just do the two glitter nails and the encapsulated um, flake nails. So, I just go in with a little bit of clear on the actual nail bed to ensure that I won't get any lifting. And then I go in with my um, glitter acrylic that I bought from Nail Heaven Supply. And I just, you know, kind of keep putting beads until I get the look that i'm going for i didn't really want it to be see-through at all so i just kind of kept adding until i you know was satisfied with the look then before i let the nail completely dry i go in with my flakes and just put them where i wanted to put them and then i move on to my next nail and just let that set before i cap it with clear acrylic Next, I'm going in and do the ombre for my nails. And you just want to make sure that 
you do it very thin, but you also want to make sure that there's no patches where you can see through or anything like that. So moving along to blending the ombre, I just go in with small wet beads and blend them together. And I kind of just do like two beads to make sure I get a good blend for each nail.
After I get a good blend on all of the ombre nails, I just go in and cap each nail with my clear acrylic, making sure this is where I actually build my nail up and make sure that I have an apex. And when it comes to encapsulating things in your nails like these flakes, you want to make sure you go in with enough acrylic so that you don't foul it out in the end. Okay guys, so for the fouling and shaping part, I just go in and make sure that the skin is pulled back from the acrylic. And then I go in and foul each of the nails and I just make sure I'm getting the nails pretty smooth. And I also, you know, you will see me rub the nail and make sure it's smooth. And I also make sure that I go around that cuticle area multiple times and make sure that there's no acrylic on the skin whatsoever.
and make sure you guys are flipping the nails over and making sure that you're fouling up under those nails so that your client is not feeling a whole bunch of acrylic on the bottom and the inside of their nails. Now I'm just going in with my hand fouling and making sure I crisp up the coffin shape. And I don't have to do much fouling because as I lay my acrylic, I always clean up my size. But you want to, you know, always go in and perfect that shape no matter what. And I did want to let you guys know that to make sure you're flipping their hand around and getting the view that they have. So because, you know, it'll look different on your end. Now all you have to do is buff the nails a little bit, go in, dust them off, you swipe once again and get all the dust off your nails. And now we can move on to the actual nail art part. And for the nail art, I'm not doing anything special. I'm just going in and you know, creating that smile line look with the nail art brush. And then I just go in with the actual brush and fill in the rest, making sure I clean up my, my sides and get all the polish off of the nail. Because if you cure gel polish on the skin, it's not going to come off until they wash their hands. And you want to make sure that when you're using the white, you go in with two coats so that it looks, you know, good how it needs to look. Because when you use white, it never looks good with this look for, you know, just using one coat. And you want to make sure you're curing each coat for at least 30 seconds in your lamp. And after that, I just go in and add a little of my Model 1's nail glue gel. And just putting it where I need, I add a few stones to each of the middle nail. And that's it, guys. That's how you do the ombre with an encapsulated look. This was pretty easy. A beginner can definitely do this. And if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, comment below, and let me know when you are subscribed. And also make sure you're subscribing so that you won't miss out on daily videos and my cash giveaway. Make sure you let me get know down in the comments if you want me to do a more in-depth on ombre nails or a more in-depth on encapsulated nails. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.